Hey everyone, my name is Brendan with Prado Path Photography. Today we're going to be taking a look at Akudama from Alpha Wolf. Big fan of this band. I really enjoy their music and the, the visuals are insane. Um, I got this idea. I was talking to a friend of mine and just watching this video. My mind was blown by some of the visuals and I was like, pause. I've got an idea. I'm going to start putting on YouTube my critical analysis of music videos and like how I'm taking a look at like what effects, how they're capturing certain visuals and just kind of pick them apart. Um, so I'm a uh, videographer. That's what I do for work. I take photos and videos um, and I'm fascinated by music videos. I'm really into how people achieve certain looks, the colors, how the effects are made and what they do, what programs and effects they use to make that happen. Uh, so I don't know everything. Uh, I am eager to learn more stuff and get new ideas. And I just want to pay respect to people's work, take a look at it and break it apart. Cause I think it's interesting and maybe you will too. So maybe we'll learn something together. Um, or maybe you'll pick up something that you weren't aware of. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Akudama. Okay, off the bat, off off the fucking rip. Back that up real quick. I don't know if that's like a stock footage airplane they like put in there or what the fuck they did. And the the camera shift there is weird. So off the jump, I'm already fucking lost. Like I'm like what a cool establishing shot. Here's the band, the fucking title card. Um cool little glitch effect here. Uh, I don't know. It's cool. Um, this I don't think is anything too, too crazy. This here. So you can kind of see, and I'll, I'll probably zoom this in, but you can see where he drew a mask around here. So you can kind of see the imperfections. There's like a little bit of a space here where he just drew the mask around this billboard and wherever the fuck they were, Australia or something. I don't know. Um, and then replace the footage with something else. With this little third eye visuals thing. Shout out to third eye visuals. The fucking visuals are insane. Watch the body. This little effects pack. Like, there's going to be a lot of stop and go. This is an analysis. So <laughs> take it how you will. There's going to be a lot of stop and go. Um, this little effect here. So I have some similar FX packs like this. You know you kind of just drop them in. So this isn't too crazy. Uh, cool fisheye lens kind of thing. We got the the lights here. It's very practical. Um, but this is cool way to use this effect to just kind of drop it in and really add that anime kind of vibe to what Alpha Wolf does. This is awesome here. Uh, I don't want to stop on every little thing, but you know I think this is just like in After Effects. 3d text layer to kind of place them that way and kind of turn it and shift it so that way um it fits with the dutch angle kind of look of the building um and then i'm assuming this is either custom animation or throwing it in there uh like a preset package uh to kind of put on the building there that that stands out to me not the most original transition in the book, but a super fucking cool looking one anyway. So we're going to notice these a lot. So right here, you can see that there's nothing there. It's just him making a box with his fingers. But when we come in here, we pause on this frame. You can again see the mask drawn a little bit here. So there's a slight gap here. And then it looks like either when he filmed it, he either shoved the camera in there and pre-planned that transition. I think there's a lot of pre-planning that goes into this, obviously. Um, or they just did like a zoom in post to kind of zoom into that next shot, which is really cool. Really creative. Again, we see that energy pack thing coming in again. Little... Um, again, he may make these. I have effects packs like this that... I download off of like Storyblocks, not a sponsor, um, 
to use in videos and such as assets people have made and you pay a subscription and you're able to download the stuff and use it in your work. Um, but that's how I would do that. He may make this stuff. I don't know. But um, anyways. Yeah, and more masking, color. Again, this like After Effects countdown kind of thing. So there's definitely a lot of back and forth between Premiere or whatever video editing software he uses. F for me, I would do this in Premiere and then After Effects and probably back and forth and link the sessions. Say it to Fucking Charizard. I don't know where. Like this is the shit that blows my mind with Alpha Wolf. Is This is probably some stock footage or drone footage of whatever city they're in. But... And you, you, if you've seen the video before, you know there's a bunch of random fucking assets they drop in here. Like, he's got Charizard, so I don't know if he cut him out or animated him. I don't know where the fuck he gets this stuff. Like, that's what blows my mind. Um, you got these little spaceships here. I feel like I've seen them somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Leave a comment if you know where they're from, I guess. I don't remember. Uh, but really cool. Again, you can see the masks. You can, again, kind of see the lines of where he drew stuff. Uh, to put like effects over certain parts to get this really digital futuristic look. It's very cool. Um, and again, lyrics on screen, just fucking cool. Again, we're seeing a common theme here. Again, it's just like masks everywhere. Like that shit, for me, that shit is so time consuming and hard to get clean. With a lot of his fast cuts, it doesn't necessarily have to be super clean. That's why when we stop on a frame, we can see the little gaps. Uh, but I don't know. That little nuance just makes it a more interesting piece of art to me. I don't know what that... I don't know what that fucking wire frame... I don't know. Maybe that's like the uh, pencil tool or scribble tool or whatever it's called in Premiere. Might be that. I don't know. This, uh, oh, all the way over my head, man. This shit, combining the fucking hand-drawn shit, this, I have no idea. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I've seen this in some of their other videos, too. I don't know how the fuck they do that. I could not explain that if my life depended on it. I want to learn more about that. If you do video or design or anything like that, and you know how they're, like, combining these, like, I, I don't know, do they export the still and send it to an artist to draw it? Does he fucking make this shit? Is there, like, a filter or effect to turn that still of the video into a fucking anime drawing? I don't know. Super cool, though. Got the fucking Smash Bros. glove that came up. There it is. Fucking Smash Bros. Amazing. This, again, f for me, like, this, that's a fucking detail I don't think I've seen before. It looks like it, that's his premiere session. Like, that or he just dropped in s screenshots from his timeline. I got no idea. Um... That's that's beyond me. I, I was hoping I'd be able to analyze this in a way where I'd be able to be like, oh, this is cool. This is what they did. But this shit is over my head. So maybe this was a bad one to do for my first video. But fuck it. You know, it, humble beginnings. This is where we at. Let's go. Here we go. This. Hang on, pause, pause, pause. This. There's a lot to unpack on this still. Like, this This is the moment that that made me decide to make this video. Because, what the fuck? Where do you get Cubone skulls as an asset? Like, did he just find one offline and then, like, duplicate it and animate it? But you've got rotating Cubone skulls above his head. I think his name's Sabian. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but you got Cubone skulls rotating around his head. I don't know any game where that would have been shown. So that had to have been created some way, somehow. So whether he got a skull, duplicated it, 
color filled it and then keyframed the animation so it rotates around him on a 3D axis, which would probably be done in After Effects. But it, he either traced it, maybe he like traced it in Photoshop and then exported it and duplicated it. I, I don't fucking know, but that alone took a lot of work. Again, we have uh, some masking going on here. You can see how the pink box here doesn't quite line up around the edge of this little section of the wall. Some discoloration here. You got the orange coming across here. So is he actually in this room or is it combining two shots together to get the look? Or is that something to do with the color grade or some of the overlays? Um, cause you can see it more here where we just took the box of like the, the shot of the video, duplicated the layer, made it smaller, rotated on the Z axis to give that angled look, and then just duplicate and adjust the spacing. Um, looks like he added some red streaks on here. I don't know what that is. This green shit here, another mask. I don't really know what's on this screen. Third eye visuals seems to love masks and animations and shit. Dude's a fucking wizard, hands down. So this is cool. This is a um, uh, te text mask, I think they call it. Um, where basically it's just, so you got the solid object and then you put the text on there and then basically you just have the footage behind it, which is easier said than done. Uh, in my experience, it's kind of a pain in the ass to do. Uh, but it's a clean, solid look every time. Super cool. Again, fucking, you got DBZ shit. Where does he get this shit? I, I would love to sit down and have, like, an hour-long conversation about this guy's fucking workflow. Like, absolutely iconic. So, this looks like he just masked out and duplicated their guitar player here a bunch of times. But then you fucking got what is this gohan here what the fuck like this is the craziest fucking video like how much shit can you cram into two and a half minutes i don't know like it's fucking crazy stock footage overlay probably of a plane i don't know there them cool those energy effects packs again i don't even know what the fuck here um Again, duplicating the footage, but masking this out as transparent, maybe. Not 100% sure on what happened here. This, another excellent pre-planned transition. So a lot of the cool in-camera transitions that come up a lot in videography uh, is just having a great game plan ahead of time. And knowing so like they have this picture of the band this still he may have dropped that in in post because i can't tell if this little white corner here is part of the picture or if that's showing that the actual original footage was like of the phone and then he dropped that in in post maybe or did they just take a picture of the band real quick and then have him swipe because once he swipes here see if i can grab it we can see the mask outline here where it's again just transitioning to the next clip of the video. Really, really creative. Like, every single shot in this video is fucking well planned out and just amazing looking. What was that? This shit just gets crazy. So many effects. Like, you could pause it every two seconds and find something new. Like, I've seen this video a handful of times, and every time I find something new, there was a quick snake that crawled across the floor a second ago. This shit, maybe some sort of stock footage, I guess. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Like, just crazy. this we got like sub zero's mask here or something this is pretty simple just uh, i assume he got the graphic or asset offline maybe he made it from scratch i don't know and then just overlaid it of this shot here and keyframed it to move with his face 
You can kind of see that animation a little bit coming through there. Balenciagas? Is that what the fuck he was wearing? Balenciaga, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I had that kind of money for shoes. I don't. The fucking quick scope. I don't know. Maybe that he just downloaded a video of fucking Call of Duty quick scope or whatever and then cut it out. So you see the edges aren't like perfect here. So I'm thinking maybe he grabbed that from a video of pulling the sniper out and doing the quick scope and then drew a mask around it to cut it out and overlaid it on here with a fucking crosshair or whatever. The creativity needed to just think of this shit. Insane. Uh, I I fucking want to try it, but I'm like, I don't even know where to fucking start. So maybe I'll just try and fucking quick scope one of my friends or something and try and put it into a music video. Who knows? So that's kind of cool there. This, not my favorite shot in the video, but again, just kind of leans into that chaotic nature of this, which goes with the music very well. Um, but again, we just have cutouts from other clips, each with like a different effect on it, layered on top of each other to create this glitchy kind of, uh, if you played Undertale, it makes me think of the last boss in that game. Uh, it's just kind of like a Photoshop nightmare, kind of. Definitely one of the, I haven't really pointed this out yet in this, but the fucking actual video, the performance of the band is just top notch. The quality's there, obviously, guys using great equipment, great white balance, amazing color grade, but there's so much other effects and shit to unpack here. It's definitely, it's a great part of the video and looks amazing. But to me, isn't the highlight of this fucking masterpiece. It's cool. There's a lot of skull assets out there. So again, he either downloaded it or created it. And then put it over top of his head. So that's pretty straightforward, but really cool. Again, we're plugging the brand here. Genius. Just fucking clean. That's so fucking cheeky. The glitchy fucking breakdown comes in and all the error messages come up. Pretty simple, but still, um, they're probably just normal screen grabs of an error message popping up. Switch the opacity to screen or overlay so that way the white becomes transparent and just goes through to the video. Stack them up. Makes it fucking really... What a standout part. I will see you there. These slow glitch effects kind of really sell that, like, system failure crash moment. Um, like, because normally when you see those transitions videos, you don't see them frame by frame like that. They just, boom, real quick. And you see the glitch transitions are everywhere. Everywhere. All genres of music. I've seen them in a ton of videos across all genres. But this, how it's slow and it just kind of pixelates apart there. And grab another one. But, all in all, this was a long video with lots of pauses to really show that I don't know shit when compared to Third Eye Visuals. Their visuals are incredible. Maybe we'll take a look at some more Alpha Wolf videos another time. They are Third Eye Visuals. I gotta do my research on them. I don't know if it's a team or if it's just one guy, but... The visuals are outstanding. The edits, the the time he must have put into this, into pre-planning, shooting it, and editing it. I uh, I can't imagine this guy is top shelf. I would love to work under him or assist him one day just to fucking watch the workflow and 
see how the fuck he works because that shit is insane 10 out of 10 uh definitely one of my favorite videographers in the scene right now and alpha wolf is top notch band of course um but even if you aren't into heavy music like that you gotta appreciate the visuals they're just top fucking notch they can't be touched thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you this is brendan with prey to path photography if you enjoyed the video hit subscribe like leave a comment below you know all that jazz i've been brendan you've been fantastic i'll see you in the next one you